This is the last of our videos from CES. Thank you for all of your feedback on our CES coverage this year. It looks like after a few years we've finally found the format that's a winner. So you can look forward to more CES videos like this next year. If you want to support the channel, there's information on how to do that in the description below and at the end of the video. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. During CES last week, Electric Last Mile Delivery Solutions, better known as ELMS, displayed both its Class 3 and Class 1 urban delivery vehicles. The Class 3 truck, known as the Urban Utility, is expected to enter production in 2023, so we're going to hold off covering that for the moment. But the Class 1 truck, known as the Urban Delivery, is expected to enter US production in the second half of 2022. We say enter production because the Elms Urban Delivery Vehicle is built in conjunction with Chinese partner Wu Ling. Yes, that's the same Wu Ling as built the Mini EV. And the Urban Delivery is based on the Wu Ling G100, but with a number of enhancements to make it meet safety and usability requirements for the US market. The vehicle, which undergoes assembly and integration of US specific features at Elms Indiana plant, is equipped with reversing cameras, driver's side airbags, seat belt front tensioners, and an energy absorbing front bumper system, along with electronic stability control, something that's not required for the Chinese market, but really useful in a narrow vehicle. That front bumper system, incidentally, does not appear to be in the B-roll of the earlier prototype that you'll see during most of this video, but it is visible here in the CES press photo. With a svelte, cattle-supplied 41 kWh lithium-ion battery, Elms are targeting a range of around 125 miles, which may not seem like much, but reminder, it's intended for last mile urban deliveries. And the vehicle, which has a load capacity of 2100 pounds or 953 kilos, is really a modern day equivalent to the extremely popular high ace van. As consumer demand has shifted to a world in which more is delivered to your door and less to the store, getting urban deliveries cleaned up is super important. And with this being more environmentally sound than a second hand high ace van, with the seat as your saddle and the wheel at your command, you as a delivery driver should have the ability to squeeze in and out of spaces no one else can. And that's because the petite van has a turning circle of just 20 feet or 6.1 meters. That means that should you find yourself involved in some kind of weird turning circle competition with a classic London black cab, the Elms would win. Despite that, the vehicle manages 157 cubic feet, that's 4,400-ish litres of cargo space, in its slender frame, which runs to just 186 inches, or 4.7 metres long, and 64 inches wide. That's just 1.6 metres for all you SI unit fans. That 41 kilowatt hour packs energy is delivered to the wheels through a 60 kilowatt peak motor. That's 80 brake horsepower, capable of delivering around 30 kilowatts continuous, or about 40 brake horse. Those lovers of the original 1960s Toyota Hiace will find those numbers pretty familiar, and while they're not going to win you the stoplight sprint if you're just using it to trundle between stores, dropping off cargo, or do those eponymous last mile deliveries, it should be adequate. It may, however, give pause to anyone considering a run on the freeway, as that motor is only rated to propel the urban delivery to a maximum of about 55 miles per hour. As it stands, the Elms webpage is a little sparse on charging specs, but the Wuling page lists the G100 as having a charge time of around 12 hours, presumably on a level 2 charger, and Elms states that it intends to offer rapid charging as an option later this year. The urban delivery is intended to ship with OTA update capability and a fleet management app called Elms Air that allows access to real-time monitoring of battery status, location, driver safety, performance and vehicle diagnostics, and with that fleet management in mind, Elm state that it has nationwide service available along with mobile maintenance technicians and maintenance services. The specs might sound a little lacklustre, and from previous experience I'm aware that the comments below will be filled with remarks about how this van is deeply unsuitable for someone's needs because they trek across the Sahara each week carrying 400 goats and a cat. and they have to do the entire journey in one go without charging. And sure, it's not suitable for that. But just like many big rigs are used for drayage duties and don't need massive ranges or high top speeds, many small vans spend their entire lives traveling in a small radius in a densely populated urban environment where top speed and raw power are a distant second to parking abilities and convenience. So while it won't be good for long distance runs, 
in busy cities it could be right at home. And with the urban delivery targeting a price of $28,000, you should have a bit of cash to get hold of some big red furry dice to make sure Dustin's happy. We're looking forward to getting some experience one-on-one -on -one with this vehicle, and when we do, we'll let you know. That's it for this update. We hope you enjoyed our CES coverage, and we'll be back with more of our usual content soon. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave your thoughts below, or in our free-to-join Discord chat room. There's a link below. If you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed to this channel and our other channel, Transport Evolve Take 2, for longer takes. Thanks on behalf of the entire TE crew, go out to the folks on my right for being our $15 to $49 a month patrons. Special thanks to our $50 a month patrons, Chris Maxwell, Brian Newton, Jason Bodor, David Kitchen, Michael Goad, Ricky Leong, Andrew Martin, Guido Drahota, Brophy Wolf, Tesla in the Gong, Gordon C, Stephen O'Donoghue, Kyle Hodgson, Anthony Coates, Rajine Fellows, Rory Litwin, Anonymous Freak, Jim Burness, and Denny Hyde. And our deepest gratitude to our $100 a month Patreon supporters, Marcel Ward, Reggie Watts, Joe Bresney, JP Fagerback, Will Graylin, Matthew Jobnack, John Lyons, Christopher Lee Jones, Laura Reynolds, Paul Conway, Ellery Hensley, and Ian. Feeling left out? You can join Patreon at the link below, or show us your support through Bitcoin, Kofi, or our cool swag store. Links are all below. Thanks for joining me, and as always, keep evolving!